How long have you been chasing a dew for, mate? Hey, it's not about how long, it's about how much effort I've put into it. It's like been a huge part of my life to try and get a decent pump. And I know it hasn't been long, it's only been a year, and some people chase them for a lot longer than that. But to dedicate night after night and after night, heartache, arguments with the missus. Oh, you're not going again, you're not going again. Fuck you, I'll go as many times as I want. <laughs> you know, I want to get one of these bastards. Mm. And honestly, I just thought it was never going to happen for me. I went through winter, nothing. Went through summer, I lost the small ones. Yeah. So what was, it, what was the plan today and, and what happened? Well, I, I don't know how, but I somehow got a spot on Ryan's charters, Huey charters, and he promised me he'd get me one. And I was like, nah, yeah, maybe, but probably a small one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll get one and lose it. And all day today, he was telling me, don't worry, you'll get one, you'll get one. And even after we got a few small ones, I got one and lost it, like a smaller one. And I said, well, yeah, that'd be all right. But he did well, he kept my hopes up, kept my confidence up, put me in the right spot, and then the rest was up to me. And just, just amazing. Any particular technique that you use to um, get this 85 centimetre dewy? Yep, yep. I use the impatient ask to go somewhere else technique. Because that's what actually happened. <laughs> and they're jigging away and I was like, here's the fuck man, let's go somewhere else. Right, I said, yeah, yeah alright, let's do it, let's go somewhere else. One last jig just to, before I start winding up, bang, he's on. And then from then on, it's just a blur. I just, from like my life, it's like, you know, people see like the birth of Christ as like BC and AD, it's like before Christ. My life now is like going to be defined from that moment on, it's like I start my real life now. It's like I lived, I don't know what I was doing up to that point my whole life. There you go, mate. See you running. A couple of boys just they oh, yeah. obviously heard about the. Did you go, hey, another one. <laughs> hey, fellas. Yeah, just everyone's. Yeah. <laughs> fellas. Stuff. Like they said, everyone always well, heard about it, man. No. They've heard about the jury and everyone's happy for me, and that's, and that's the thing about catching the jury, you know. You just, everybody's stoked for you. Like, you know, Ryan's caught two of them since I've been around, and I've been happy for him like, I, like it was my own, but mm -hmm. you just can't explain what it's like. You know, and like, now it's happened to you, mate. Yeah. And you've achieved that goal. It's like better than, you know. Now people say, oh, having your first kid, fuck that, man. <laughs> this is this is a jury, man. It's a size of it. Did you see the size of it? <laughs> and it's and like a kid, yeah, after you have your kid, it might be amazing that, but then you're stuck with him for the rest of your life. Yeah. This Jewy, like, he's not going to cause me no trouble, he's going to feed me. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's not like it's good and then uh, it's pain in the ass afterwards. It's good and it gets better. <laughs> the Get more and let him go, so, eh? That'll go, I'll frame that picture. Yeah. Um, with my lure, I'll put the lure in a little glass box yep. in, in the frame. Yep. Um, that'll go on top of the mountain. Even if, if I have kids, like God, you know, God willing, I have kids, yep. their photos will go underneath the jury. <laughs> jury. It'll be a big one, and <laughs> the kid buns will be fine, <laughs> Can't explain it, mate. Good stuff.